So, back in MongoDB Compass, I'm going to go to the Genres collection, grab the ID of a genre. Now let's go to Postman, open a new tab, and send a delete request to localhost API genres, and here's the ID. So initially, I don't have a token. Send, we get 401 or unauthorized, which means we don't have a token. We need to pass a token. So now I'm going to log in with a user that is not an admin. So back to the second tab. I'm going to log in with this user. This user is not an admin. Send. So here we have a JSON web token. We can verify that this user is not an admin by going to JWT debugger. So on JWT.io, we can paste that JSON web token here. This is our payload. Look, we only have the ID property. We don't have is admin. So this user should not be able to delete a genre. Let's verify that. So here, when sending a delete request to this endpoint, first we need to set the header x auth token and set this value send okay look we got 403 which is forbidden and the message is access denied now in contrast if we log in with a user who is an admin we should be able to delete a genre okay so in my database this is the user that is an admin so this is the email program with mosh 10 at gmail.com i'm going to log in with this user Back in Postman. Let's log in with program with mosh 10 at gmail.com. Send. Now, look at this JSON web token. This is a little bit longer than JSON web tokens we had before. So let's copy this into JWT debugger. Okay, look at the payload. Is admin is set to true. So now I should be able to delete. This genre. I'm going to change this JSON web token with the new value. Send, and we successfully deleted this genre. Now, one last thing before we finish this lecture. In this simple application, we have a single property to determine if the user is an admin or not. In your application, you might have multiple roles, admins, moderators, and so on. In that case, you would need a property like roles, this would be an array. Here you can have strings or complex objects. That really depends on the scope of your application. In a more advanced application, instead of managing roles, you would manage operations. That is the operations that the user is allowed to perform. So here we would have operations. This would be an array of complex objects. For example, for a given user, we would say this user is allowed to delete genres or create genres. So you would control access at a more granular level. Now, irrespective of which approach you choose, the big picture is still the same. So you would pass something that determines the level of access of the user in the JSON web token that you generate as part of authenticating the user. Then you would add a middleware. Here we're simply checking the value of this Boolean property in a more complex application, we can look at the roles array or the operations array. Based on that, you make a decision. You either decline access or grant it. The big picture is exactly the same. So back here, I'm going to delete these two properties.